Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to focus on the different layers of the earth. Our learning intentions for today's lesson is to be able to name the four layers of the earth and then to be able to explain the differences between each of these layers. Okay so in today's uh, tutorial we're going to look at the structure of the earth and the first thing that you need to know about the structure of the earth is that the earth is made up of three concentric layers. And these layers are the crust, the mantle, and the core. And one thing to note is that the core is divided up into an inner core and an outer core. So you can say that there's four layers, or three concentric layers. So, three concentric layers, the crust, the mantle, and the third one is the core. Core. And one thing to note is that the core is made up of the inner and the outer core. Okay, so this is a good um, diagram of the different layers that we have that make up the Earth's structure. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we've got on the outside, we've got the crust, then we have the mantle, and then we have the core. And you've got the inner as uh, the outer core, which is the orange, and the yellow is the is the inner core. Okay. And then th this uh, shows it in um, a better kind of view here. What you have here, he's got uh, the inner core, which is extremely hot. Temperatures rise up to 5,000 degrees Celsius. It's a solid because of the pressure and consists mainly of iron and nickel. Then you've got the outer core. And the outer core is mainly liquid um, or in a molten state okay, because there's less pressure in the outer core. It consists mainly of iron. Then we move up into the mantle, okay, and the mantle has a few different uh, layers within the mantle, okay, uh, the mantle and the crust, which we'll talk about now. But the mantle itself um, surrounds the core, and it's the largest layer. But 80% of the Earth's volume is, is, is the mantle, okay, so it goes from here to here. Rocks are in a molten or semi-molten state. Part of the mantle is known as the asthenosphere, okay, which is up here. The asthenosphere is the top part of the mantle. Okay, that's the asthenosphere, it's the top part of the mantle. And the rocks in the asthenosphere, which is just here, are much weaker and almost molten. And they can easily change and are capable of like flowing. And so in the asthenosphere you have like the convection currents. This explains to us why the plates uh, actually move. Then up here we have the lithosphere. So the lithosphere makes up the very, very top part of the mantle and the crust. Okay, so it's the upper part of the mantle and the crust, and that is what we, is known as the lithosphere. But the the top layer itself is just known as the crust. Okay, and the the crust is the is the Earth's outer skin. It's made up of solid rock. It's where it's what we actually it's what we live on, and it's divided into oceanic crust and continental crust. Okay, so I've wrote out the few different points that I made about each about each one. First of all, the inner core, up to five thousand degrees solid uh, in temperature, it's solid because of the pressure and it consists mainly of iron and nickel. The outer core, which is the orange bit, is a liquid or semi molten state. That's because there's less pressure and consists mainly of iron. In the mantle, it's the largest layer. It makes up uh, about eight percent of the Earth's volume. Temperatures here reach up to three and a half thousand degrees Celsius. The rock is molten in a semi-molten state. The top part of it is, is known as the asthenosphere, and it's a very weak part, and it's easily changed. Rocks are easily changed in a asthenosphere, and almost like a flow in motion. That kind of explains why the plates are able to, to move um, because of the convection currents within the mantle. The next layer is the, is the crust. This is the outer skin of the earth, made of solid rock, and divide, divided into oceanic and continental crust. And the three different uh, concentric layers that we have is the crust, the mantle, and the core, which is made up of two layers, the inner and outer core. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Um, our learning intentions was to be able to name the four different layers of the earth, which we can do now, having watched the video. And we should be able to explain the differences between each of these earth layers, which we can now do from having watched this video tutorial. Thanks, guys.